Hey neighbors, Pastor Luke and Christian here. We were uh, just getting ready to film the video for today and you were telling me a story and so I kind of made, I interrupted your script because I just thought this was so um, beautiful. So we're out with the truck, as you guys know, the good news truck, especially in the warm weather season that's starting as often as we can be at all kinds of events and doing outreaches and free ice cream and all this. And sometimes people in a really good spirit will ask like, what are we, why, why are we doing this? Yes. And I think the reason this was so perfectly encapsulated in this little thing that happened today is that so many people, uh, if you're watching this, you're a church person probably. And when you're a church person, you pay attention to churches, you notice churches, you hear about other churches from your friends who are also going to churches. And there's so many people in our community that are just not in any of that sphere. Right. And so just tell us a little bit about this little thing that happened today. I thought it was so powerful. Right. Well, a woman came in. She happened to see the truck at the Jewel outreach that we did this past weekend. Yeah. And she just felt overwhelmed because she was like her father loved Easter and she began to cry. And then she was going through a situation which brought her here to the church and she needed some help. And so we were able to help her through the generosity fund. And she then began to say like she needs to come back to the Lord. And it was all these little pieces that led her back here yeah. to the church. And that was just beautiful. So the part that excited me the most was this, because she had seen our truck out in the community helping she then, like when she was Googling churches, trying yes. to figure out a way to help, she saw us and she made that connection. Right. She already knew that we were the kind of people that want to help. And right. that's the thing that we're trying to develop in our community yes. because there are so many people that have so many needs that when we have a way and a part in helping with their physical or emotional needs, that opens the door for God to fill their spiritual needs. So thanks for letting me jump in at the beginning of the video, but I just thought that was so fun to tell the story. Tell us about all the stuff we've done since the last time all we've right. all been together. Hi, neighbors. This is your monthly update on outreach. Uh, at the beginning of the month, we were able to support several families through your generous giving who experienced the terrible fire in the northeast part of our community. We were able to house them for several days at local hotels and just be a, a point of support for the police and the social service uh, organizations that were involved. And we really appreciate that. Um, one of the other things that we participated in the month of March, uh, Good News Kids was able to do what's called the Good Neighbor Project. And this was based on the parables of the Minas in the Gospels, in which we were able to give each kid $20 and they were to multiply it. And what was so significant is that these families were able to go out, they purchased seeds, they bought bread or made bread, and did community service projects and they multiplied the money that they were given. We thank you for the support, especially those families who did it. This was not to come back to the church, but this was to teach the kids something about generosity and service in our community. And they really enjoyed it. And lastly, Easter, we did our first outreach during the uh, during Easter services uh, this past weekend and it was really significant. We were at the Jewel Osco on Plum Grove Road. I'd like to send a special thank you to Steve Colello. So if you go to that store, say thank you, Steve Colello, for allowing us to post up the truck and give out coffee and flowers. And Blumentoss, who donated flowers to us to give just to do some good in the community. It was a special time. We had several people ask questions about who's good news, what do we do? We told them about Jesus and about just us wanting to do good in the community. So thank you again, and I'll see you next month.